All right, now we have the question that is happening all the time right now. I won't even tell you why, but the seller and the buyer have both sent mutual releases. The seller wants to keep the buyer's money. The buyer wants their money back. What do you do when you have competing mutual releases? All right, first thing, you have to ask where we are in the process because where we are dictates what you can do. All right, if the buyer has missed their financing date, they're not completely financed yet, and the date in the contract has been missed, the seller can terminate because the purchase agreement says the agreement may terminate if you don't meet that deadline. If you have passed the closing date, either party can terminate. Frankly, the contract says it shall terminate if you don't close by the closing date. So that's the first thing to consider. Now we need to know whether the seller can put the house back on the market before those mutual releases are signed one way or another. Again, if you've missed the finance date or the closing date, seller can put the house back on the market. There's nothing to stop them. If they haven't missed those dates, the seller can still put the house back on the market, but they must say that the transaction, a new transaction, would be subject to a mutual release on a previous contract. Okay? The main thing that you need to worry about if you're the buyer is whether you think you deserve the money back, but have you said, we will not close? If you've said, we will not close, that makes it very easy for the seller to put the house back on the market. If there's still a possibility that a buyer will change their mind, the seller might not want to put the house back on the market quite yet.